Welcome to a journey back in time to witness one of the most significant battles in ancient history, the Battle of Megiddo. Fought in May 1479 BCE near the city of Megiddo, located in present-day Palestine, this clash between the Egyptian Empire, led by Pharaoh Thutmose III, and the rebellious forces of Kadesh, would forever change the balance of power in the Levant. The stage was set for a monumental confrontation. Following the death of the Egyptian co-regent Hatshepsut in 1482 BCE, Darusha, the king of Kadesh, seized the opportunity to lead a revolt of cities in Palestine and Syria. Pharaoh Thutmose III, eager to assert his authority and restore Egyptian dominion, embarked on a mission to reclaim the Levant. With a revitalized Egyptian army at his command, Pharaoh Thutmose III set forth, determined to quell the rebellion. Estimates suggest that his forces numbered between 10,000 and 30,000 men, primarily infantry with a contingent of chariots. Armed with swords, axes, and shields, the Egyptian soldiers were ready to face their adversaries led by the king of Kadesh, who deployed a sizable force at the fortified city of Megiddo. The Battle of Megiddo was the first recorded battle in history witnessed by those who participated. Pharaoh Thutmose III chose a daring strategy, opting for a direct route through Megiddo Pass, disregarding the advice of his generals. The king of Kadesh, anticipating this move, positioned the bulk of his forces along another road to the east, believing the Egyptians would avoid the perilous pass. Undeterred by the potential ambush, Pharaoh Thutmose III led the charge through Megiddo Pass, scattering the few defenders in his path. Consolidating his forces, he positioned them in a concave formation southwest of Megiddo, with both flanks on high ground. The left flank extended northwest, cutting off any possible escape for the enemy. Meanwhile, the rebel force, led by the king of Kadesh, assembled on high ground near Megiddo, ready to defend their stronghold. They were armed and prepared to face the advancing Egyptian army. In a brilliant display of leadership, Pharaoh Thutmose III personally led the northern wing of his army, launching a decisive attack that sliced between the rebel left flank and Megiddo itself. This envelopment strategy caught the enemy by surprise and sealed their fate. The Egyptian forces overwhelmed the rebel army, causing them to flee for their lives. However, a momentary halt in the pursuit allowed the surviving enemy soldiers a temporary respite, as the Egyptian soldiers turned their attention to looting the enemy camp, a decision that did not sit well with Pharaoh Thutmose III. The Battle of Megiddo was a resounding victory for Pharaoh Thutmose III in the Egyptian Empire. It marked a turning point in the region's history, solidifying Egyptian control over the Levant and reshaping the political landscape for centuries to come. After the victorious battle, Pharaoh Thutmose III proceeded to lay siege to the city of Megiddo, a grueling endeavor that lasted for a minimum of three months. The defiant city finally surrendered to the mighty Egyptian forces. With the fall of Megiddo, Pharaoh Thutmose III emerged triumphant. He took numerous rebel kings as prisoners, although the king of Kadesh managed to escape capture. Among the captives were the sons of these kings, who were taken back to Egypt as hostages, solidifying Egyptian control over the region. The spoils of war were substantial. The Egyptian records boast the acquisition of over 900 chariots, 2,200 horses, and 200 suits of armor. Additionally, it is reported that Pharaoh Thutmose III amassed a considerable amount of wealth, including 426 pounds of gold and silver throughout the entire campaign. The Battle of Megiddo not only secured Egyptian dominance but also enriched the empire with valuable resources and reinforced Pharaoh Thutmose III's reputation as a formidable leader.